Welcome to Winter Games Today on Eurosport. Every day a live studio show with the highlights of the Olympics. One and a half years ago, when we started preparing for the Winter Olympics 2018, we started brainstorming with our centralized Olympic and operations teams and with NEP, our technical partner, to see how we could create a daily localized studio show, including a match center, really fast paced, but we had to deal with limited space uh, and also limited budget. So that was really a challenge. As the combined infrastructure and facilities were already here, NEP proposed to produce the studio show entirely in a virtual environment. The Dutch Discovery team came to me and asked us if we can do this, and I was kind of like, oh bloody hell, here we go. Um, but what that allowed us to do was to do a truly unique flavour to our Dutch audience, which we'd never done before, which was really, really important to us to raise the brand profile of Eurosport. The finale of the 500 meters. NEP believes in augmented reality, and in the last years we have invested in this technology because we truly believe that this is going to be a changer in the industry. And we have invested not only um, in hardware, but we also invested in people. So we built a team around this proposition, you know, designers, technical artists, but also developers to be able to create stuff like we did here for Eurosport. <laughs> Yeah, so here we are at the Eurosport coffee corner and we have built the Olympic set here in a 5x5 meter studio space. And although there are boundaries uh, in the physical space, the boundaries in the virtual space are not there. So this looks very large, although it's a, it's a very tiny physical studio. Our creative department already created some concepts for us. We had the Olympic style guide. NEP graphics translated this into a virtual set. They really guided us through the process from the conceptual phase basically till the end and the execution phase. Since it's the Winter Games, we wanted to make it feel like you're on top of a mountain there in Pyeongchang looking out. So we worked with Eurosport to get images and create a panoramic that makes it feel like you're actually there physically in Pyeongchang. So we are the front runners when it comes to realism in augmented reality. Um, and in this set, it's really clear to see uh, why this set looks so real. So if you look at this imperfection, the scene between the two wooden panels, uh, that creates the illusion of perfection. And if you look at my shoes, you will see the contact shadows on the floor, and that's why you believe I'm actually standing on the floor. Um, and what's the really cool feature about virtual sets is that we can change uh, the time of day uh, you know, with the snap of a finger. So now all of a sudden it's dark outside, and uh, now you can also see the really cool feature reflection in the glass. So if I walk past the glass and I wave my hand, you will see my reflection in this glass wall. We were really impressed with the technology and the detail that they could go into and with what they'd done and how quickly they could also develop those. To have a sense about how the final product would look like, uh, along the way NEP introduced uh, VR glasses. <laughs> Wow. To actually be there and feel it and see the shots and see the angles and see the size of the room really helped to give an example of what the final product is going to be. That really was convincing to us that we were on a good track and that we would uh, succeed in finalizing this great localized studio. It, it looks actually much bigger than I expected it to be. So in the last couple of years, NEP developed a unified workflow which includes tracking, keying, rendering, shading, everything from end to end. This way the client only has to focus on the content. So this set was developed especially for the Winter Olympics, but you can change it to any event that you would like to produce, so the Giro or Wimbledon, uh, and in this case our own NEP branded studio. And with the snap of a finger I can add a Formula One car um, that you can use to do storytelling. So this 3D model uh, enables you to explain the Formula One car um, you know, and, and do storytelling in a new way with augmented reality. I think it's going to be a really, really strong part of our future moving forward where we can add a local flavour to any programme that we produce at a fraction of the cost of what it would have cost historically. So I think definitely it is a part of our future. Winter Games today, every day live at Eurosport 1 and the Eurosport player. <laughs>